She is known for her contributions to the fields of mathematics, philosophy, and theoretical biology. She is recognized for her work on scientific methodology and the philosophy of science. She was Dorothy Maud Rinch. Dorothy Rinch, a brilliant mathematician and philosopher, embarked on a remarkable journey that spanned continents and disciplines. Born in Argentina and raised in England, Rinch's thirst for knowledge led her to Girton College, Cambridge, where she excelled in mathematics. It was there that she encountered the influential philosopher Bertrand Russell, who became her mentor and opened doors to the world of philosophy. As Rinch delved deeper into her studies, she made significant contributions to the field of mathematical logic, working closely with Russell and even assisting him during his imprisonment. She published numerous papers on pure and applied mathematics, as well as scientific methodology and the philosophy of science. Her collaboration with Harold Jeffries on scientific inference laid the foundation for his seminal book in 1931. However, Rinch's passion for knowledge extended beyond mathematics and philosophy. In the early 1930s, she embarked on a new path as a theoretical biologist, joining an interdisciplinary group known as the Biotheoretical Gathering. Together with other prominent scientists, she sought to unravel the mysteries of life by exploring the workings of proteins. Rinch developed a groundbreaking model of protein structure called the Cyclol structure, which sparked both excitement and controversy in the scientific community. Despite facing criticism, Rinch continued to dedicate herself to her research, collaborating with chemist Irving Langmuir to validate her ideas. Their work on the hydrophobic effect as the driving force for protein folding further solidified the importance of Rinch's contributions. In 1939, Rinch made a life-changing decision and moved to the United States. She held teaching positions at various colleges, including Amherst, Smith, and Mount Holyoke, while continuing her research at Smith College until her retirement in 1971. Dorothy Rinch's relentless pursuit of knowledge and her groundbreaking contributions to mathematics, philosophy, and biology leave a lasting legacy, inspiring generations of scholars to explore the intersections between disciplines and push the boundaries of human understanding. Dorothy, a brilliant and controversial figure, made significant contributions to the field of molecular biology. As a prominent researcher, she played a vital role in shaping the early stages of this scientific discipline. Crowfoot Hodgkin, a fellow scientist, described her as someone who influenced much of the present research in molecular biology. However, Dorothy's personal life was marked by a series of ups and downs. In her early years, Dorothy had to navigate a complicated romantic situation. Her Cambridge tutor, G. N. Watson, had proposed to her, but she did not reciprocate his feelings. In a difficult conversation, she had to rely on her father to explain her lack of interest. Despite this, Watson later recommended Dorothy as his replacement lecturer at University College London. During this time, she formed a deep intellectual bond with the renowned philosopher Bertrand Russell. It is believed that she may have had a romantic connection with Russell's brother, Frank, and also an unhappy attachment with another of Russell's disciples, Raphael Demos. In 1922, Dorothy married John William Nicholson, her graduate supervisor at King's College London. However, their relationship was not without controversy. Their examination for Dorothy's DSC in 1921 had an additional referee, possibly due to perceptions of their close connection. Nicholson's mental health began to decline in the late 1920s, and he was eventually confined to a mental institution until his death in 1955. Dorothy was granted a divorce in 1937 on the grounds of her husband's insanity. During this difficult period, she found solace in her friendship with the mathematician Eric Neville, which lasted until 1961. In 1939, Dorothy and her daughter relocated to the United States. The move was partly influenced by the advice of Oxford University's Chancellor and British Foreign Secretary, who believed her research and lecturing would be most valuable to the war effort in America. In 1941, Dorothy married Otto Charles Glaser, a prominent figure in the field of biology and vice president of Amherst College. Through Glazer's support, Dorothy was able to secure teaching positions. However, their relationship faced scrutiny when Glazer was forced to resign as chairman of the biology department in 1944 due to allowing his research assistant to work for Dorothy. Glazer retired in 1948 and passed away in 1951. Dorothy's journey came to an end on February 11, 1976, in Falmouth, Massachusetts. Crowfoot Hodgkin, in her obituary, remembered Dorothy as a gay, enthusiastic, and adventurous individual who faced many misfortunes with courage and kindness. While her personal life may have been tumultuous, Dorothy's impact on the field of molecular biology remains undeniable. Dorothy Maud Rinch, a renowned philosopher, delved into the profound impact of parenthood on women's careers and the challenges that parents face in providing the best upbringing for their children. 
In her book, she highlighted how the responsibilities of child rearing often led to the termination of professional opportunities for women, while also acknowledging the physical and psychological strains on both parents and children. Rinch recognized that parents lacked the necessary expertise in practical matters related to a child's development, as their professional knowledge often lay in different domains. To address this issue, Rinch proposed a groundbreaking solution, the establishment of child rearing services. These services would assume most aspects of raising a child, relieving parents of the burdensome tasks and allowing them to focus on the crucial areas where their involvement is irreplaceable, impregnation, gestation, childbirth, and lactation. The child rearing services would consist of four bureaus, each catering to a specific aspect of childcare. The first bureau, CRSA, would be responsible for transforming homes into comfortable and child-friendly environments. They would provide services such as electrical work, plumbing repairs, insulation, and soundproofing, ensuring that the living spaces were conducive to the well-being of both parents and children. The second bureau, CRSB, would take care of the labor-intensive tasks of child-rearing, including changing diapers, preparing meals, doing laundry, and cleaning dishes. Food safety, inspection, and diet would be the focus of the CRSC Bureau. Their primary objective would be to guarantee that each child received proper nutrition and a well-balanced diet. Lastly, the CRSD Bureau would handle all medical, nursing, and psychological services necessary for the health and overall well-being of both the parents and the child, from pregnancy until the child reached school age. Through her innovative proposal, Rinch aimed to alleviate the burdens on parents and ensure that children received the best care and upbringing possible. By establishing specialized bureaus to handle various aspects of child-rearing, Rinch believed that parents could focus on their professional endeavors while still providing the crucial love and support their children needed. Her vision sought to create a society where the challenges of parenting were shared, enabling individuals to balance their personal and professional lives more effectively. Rinch's philosophy on the retreat from parenthood offers valuable insights into the demands of modern life and the need for innovative approaches to child-rearing. Her vision encourages us to explore alternative ways of balancing our responsibilities and pursuing our passions, all while ensuring the well-being and development of our children. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.